Good morning, how you guys doing? I uh, wanted to make this video for about a week now and uh, just been really busy, so I'm gonna try to make this video while I'm, while I'm working, if you don't mind. Um, so, the worst part about shipping, the worst part about selling bugs, in my mind, for the most part, I say is eBay. Now, it's not just eBay. There could be a lot of, of bad things about shipping bugs no matter where you go. But eBay is one of the absolute worst ways to sell your bugs. Um, it's not just the money. Although eBay does take, I think they now take 12.5% of your sale uh, for fees. And that's, you know, that's a huge hit. That That's really bad. But... Um, with eBay, the seller basically does not have any seller protection at all. Um, give you a little, a little story. When I first started, uh, I think this is our sixth winter shipping bugs. Oh, by the way, I'm actually putting back the bugs that did not sell at the show Saturday. I'm finally emptying them, putting them back in their bins. Uh, and then I got to get some bugs shipped out for today. But anyway, when I first started selling on eBay, the very first winter that we were selling, we had it set up in our description, mind you. So when you, when you buy from us, you can see it in the description that every package will be held at your local post office for pickup. That's to make sure that you receive them and that they're all alive and we could guarantee live arrival by having them held at your post office. And the reason we do that, and the reason I love USPS so much more than the other places, when I take bugs to the post office, it's warm inside. When they go in their truck and go to their facilities and on their planes and all that, they're all in climate controlled uh, facilities, except when they deliver them. When it gets to your hometown and they get put on the mail truck to come to your house, that's where they're cold, that's where they're hot in the summer, that's where they're gonna die most of the time. So say you get your mail at, at 8 a.m., you're the first, first person to get your mail in the morning, your roaches are probably gonna be alive and well, no problem. But if you're not getting your mail till two or three o'clock in the afternoon, and those roaches sat on that cold mail truck all day or on a hot mail truck all day, that's where they're dying at is the last journey to your house. So we had every package held at the local post office for our customers to pick up. That way they, uh, you know, that way they get them and they're all alive and well. So during that first year, we had so many complaints and so many people that would message us saying, hey, I ordered roaches, uh, you know, 10 days ago, and I haven't received them yet. What's the deal? They never checked their tracking number, or they never read the description to know that they're being held at their post office. So then I'd look them up and be like, yeah, they're held at, at your local post office, just like it says in the description. But they get mad because they want them delivered directly to their house, and they don't read the description, or they don't check their tracking number, and they just, you know, they don't know, so they'd complain. So what we started doing after that was we'd give them the option. So if it's, uh, if it's below 40 degrees, you have to have them held at your local post office to guarantee live arrival. We give them the option. You can have them held or you can have them delivered to your house, but you're going to forfeit the live arrival guarantee. Uh, even on that note, there's still a lot of people that will not have them held. They, they, they get them to go straight to their house and they sit in the mail truck all day and they die. And then they, you know, come back and, and start, you know, complaining. They're all dead, blah, 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 blah. You said live rival guarantee, but they never read the description. Now, I've had so many people, not so many, a few people, like, I'm not going to read all the fine print, yada, yada, yada. We have a very short description of our live arrival guarantee, a little bit about who we are, the size of the roaches, and our live arrival guarantee. All in big words, 
nothing fine print you know we even have it in bold for the live arrival also you know no shipping to florida hawaii alaska and puerto rico and yet we still get people buying from florida puerto rico and i gotta refund them and they get mad and sometimes they ask if they could put it in an unmarked box and ship it and it's like hey man uh you know i don't make enough money that i'm gonna chance going to jail over by sending you bugs that are illegal in your state or illegal to ship um but anyway you know they don't read the description well they don't follow their live arrival guarantee we have on ebay that we do not accept returns because you know i know how i'm taking care of my bugs they're all healthy and good here so if i ship them to somebody and they open the package or if there's a problem with them i don't know the conditions of their house i don't know what they could have fed the roaches that's good or bad yada 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 so if we get a package of roaches that come back to us i cannot comfortably put them back into their colonies or in their totes uh if it was opened because i don't know what they did to them or, or didn't do you know it's just not safe it's not safe for for the rest of the roaches here um but They'll complain to eBay, and eBay will literally make you refund them. You have no say-so in the matter. Uh, eBay will protect their sellers, or protect their buyers, like 99.99%, but they do not protect their sellers at all. Uh, people can get a, a package of roaches. I mean, literally, they can get a package of roaches that are all alive, open a claim, and get their money back, and there's, there's really nothing you can do. Um, just this last week, the whole reason for me wanting to do this video, I had a guy buy, oh, another thing, uh, first time bug buyers, a lot of times go to eBay. They're looking around, they're trying to shop for best price and they've never ordered them before. Uh, I had a guy order a thousand small dubia. So he receives them and then sends me a message that it doesn't look like a thousand. Well, I actually sh uh, shipped a thousand uh, smalls the very next day, and I had them in a deli cup. I'm talking, it, it was like maybe not even three quarters of an inch of a deli cup. It's, it's right around, I wanna say it's like right around 58 grams for a thousand small. But because it didn't look like a thousand, he wanted to, he wanted a refund. And I told him, uh, I was like, sir, right now we're only sending maybe like you know five to ten packages a day and i'm very meticulous when it comes to counting and weighing roaches you actually received probably 10 to 15 percent more than you purchased i mean and that's across the board i always hook every order up on the low end i'm given at least 12 percent extra so but he come back with you know whatever he's not having it he doesn't believe me and i even told him i said I recommend to all our customers, plus people that aren't our customers, to buy a digital scale and weigh them. Anytime you receive live insects, count a handful of them, do the math, and, and weigh the whole batch and find out exactly how many you have. It's very easy to do. It takes about five, 10 minutes for a cup of a thousand. Uh, you only got a hand count, maybe 50 or 100. It's really simple. But he wouldn't do it and he wasn't having it. So I wasn't gonna refund him for those, you know what I mean? Uh, but then he opened a claim against me and I was thinking about it for a couple days. And I'm like, you know, what do I do? Cause I don't wanna lose out. Uh, it was like $60. I'm like, I don't wanna lose out on that. And one of the options for eBay, cause they force you to, to do the refund. They, they, you know, they give you a couple options, but all said and done, you still have to do the refund. I wasn't gonna just let him keep the roaches and give them a refund so what i did was i sent him a shipping label so that he could send them back to me and i'm like if you send them back to me i'm gonna weigh them and count them and i'll refund you for what i received back so if you fed if you fed off a hundred of them or if you fed off half of them you know i'm not gonna refund you for the whole batch because you used some so he ends up coming back to me with just refund half my money and i'll I, you know, I'll keep the roaches and instead of, cause as soon as I, I sent him a shipping label, he responds with, uh, 
instead of sending them back, just refund me half my money and I'll be happy. So I emailed him again. I said, sir, uh, I can't send you half your money back and let you keep the 11 or 1200 roaches I sent you. I said, here's what I'll do. I'll let you keep the roaches and I'll send you 15 bucks. Um, Cause he said it wasn't enough, which it was. I know for a fact it was cause that particular day there was only one cup of smalls that went out. Everything else were larger roaches and super worms. Um, so I said, and I was gonna say $10, but I was like, you know what? I'll make it a little better, get them off my back, whatever, I'll send you $15. So he responds with, send me $20 and I'll do it. And again, I'm sitting there thinking like, do I really wanna do this? And he even said, send it to me through PayPal or Venmo which I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna go outside of eBay's policy and send him money after he opened a claim against me. Cause if I send him money through PayPal, he could, the claim is still open. You know, he could still go at me and get his $60 back. So I'm not gonna send him money outside of eBay. So uh, I tell him, <coughs> uh, I said, okay, I'll, I'll do the $20 cancel the claim against me and I'll send you $20 and, and we'll be square. He comes back with some of the roaches are, have died and I've already thrown them away. I can't cancel the claim. Um, I, something else, but he still wants me to send him money outside of eBay. And at this point I'm just so frustrated. I'm like, you know what? Um, just send me just send me what you have back and we'll, we'll go from there and we're gonna stay on eBay. I'm not gonna send you money outside of eBay and I'm really not gonna send you money if you cannot close the claim because I can't close it and eBay is ultimately gonna make me pay for them. Uh, I'm not even sure what happened with that. Uh, it's, still, it's still going on. But, you know, like I said, there's nothing I could do. If someone opens a claim on eBay, there's nothing I could do about it. And that's ultimately why I quit selling on eBay like 18 months ago is because eBay's policies do not protect a seller at all. And if a person wants to scam a seller and receive the product and get their money back, that's not fair for the seller. And eBay really needs to, to figure out how they're gonna handle that. Uh, or they're gonna lose a lot of sellers, like myself. I'm, a, I'm going to be taking everything off of eBay more than likely in the next day or two. Um, but another thing, uh, the, the problems of selling or shipping insects. I got an email yesterday from a lady who said um, that she bought 100 roaches off of us. Someone recommended us to her, and you know, so she gave us a try and she bought 100 roaches. She said out of the 100, only three lived and the rest had died. And she had them held at her local post office to make sure that they lived. And I'm like, you know, I, I was outside uh, shoveling snow when I got the email on my phone and I'm like, oh man, I feel bad. I'll have to send her a new package or give her a refund. So I go in the house, I get on a computer, I look up her order and they were delivered to her house 11 days ago, uh, as of yesterday. So it's been 12 days now. And I'm like, did she just pick them up at the post office today? So, you know, I, I emailed her back and I said, you know, I'm really sorry to hear about this. Um, you know, we do have a live arrival guarantee and if you had them held at your local post office, we will in fact refund you or send you a new package. But the only order I can find, you know, they were delivered to the post office 12 days ago. I said, can you please give me your order number and I'll look at your order. Well, she responded with her order number and she did in fact receive them 12 days ago. And I'm like, you know, on our policy, you have to pick them up from the post office the day they were shipped and send us pictures within a half an hour of opening your package. Uh, understandably, if they're being delivered to their post office, I'm not gonna worry about, you know, that 30 minutes. If, if they were delivered to her post office and she picked them up two hours later and sent us an email, I'll still cover it. But you're talking 11 days ago. If you picked them up 11 days ago and they were all dead, why not message me then? Like at this point, it's been almost two weeks. I can't refund that. Like, I don't know what happened in the last 11 days. Maybe you fed them off. You know, if, if they really died, 
you know, if it was me, I'd have emailed the company right away and said, hey, you know, I've got them held at the post office and they're, they're all dead. Here's a picture, you know, let's work, go from there. But the fact that she waited 11 days, I'm like, I, I can't, I can't refund you. There's nothing I could do. I'm sorry. But if you want to order from us again, and if you, you know, if you want to order from us again, and if you do order from us again, just put a little note in your order and I'm going to hook you up even better than before to cover the dead ones. Because even though I'm not going to refund you, you know, I still feel bad if in fact they all did die. I don't want you know, someone paying me and not being able to use what they bought. So I told her, if you buy from me again, I'm going to send you some extras. But if they die, you can't wait two weeks to message me and say, hey, they're all dead. What are you going to do about it? Uh, and that drives me bonkers because people will be like, you know, uh, this is my first time ordering from you. And I'm very disappointed because, you know, the mail was late and I got them two days late. And now I'm very disappointed because I ordered from you. And it's like, once I take them to the post office, that's out of my hands. You know, we don't control what happens with the delivery service. And I don't care if that's FedEx, UPS, USPS. Once they're out of the of the seller's hands, that's it, you know. Uh, a few days ago, someone emailed me. They did receive their order. It was uh, Red Runners. They received their order like over a week late because of a shipping error. Uh, and I I, re, I didn't refund them, I sent them a new package. Well, I gave them the option. And he said, yeah, I really need the bugs, yada, yada, yada. I said, you know what, no problem. That's not his fault. And that's not my fault that the post office ran late and lost his package. But I, re, I, I sent him a new package. I sent him the 200 Red Runners that he purchased because, you know, I feel obligated to do it. And honestly, not a lot of companies are doing that right now. I received an order, it was like a $600 order with, you know, crickets, hornworms, superworms, mealworms. I'm talking a big portion of this order were dead. I called the company, sorry, there's nothing we can do. It's posted right on our website that we're not offering a live arrival guarantee because of COVID and because of the shipping services that have been getting a lot of delays although there haven't been delays since, you know, over a year ago, they don't offer live arrival guarantees anymore. So if you buy roaches from most companies, you're not getting a refund. You're not getting a new order. They're just, hey, you're lost, you know? To me, I don't have the morals to do that. If you spend 50 bucks to buy some bugs and the post office loses your package and you get them a week later all dead, yeah, I feel bad. You bought it for me. I shipped them the next day. And they should have got to you all alive. There was a mix up. I'm not going to let you lose 50 bucks over it. You know, I have 30 some colonies of a thousand roach, a thousand adults per colony in here. I'm not going to be stingy and say, sorry about your luck. I'm going to send you some roaches. If, 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 you know, if they all died or if there was a problem, but a lot of companies aren't doing that anymore. And, and it's, you know, I kind of understand it because you could lose a lot of money by refunding orders and sending out packages multiple times. You could lose a lot of money doing that. To me, less than 1%. I mean, it's probably 1% of 1% of orders get lost in the mail and die. I mean, I've had orders that got lost in the mail and they make it all alive, you know, a week late. I've had orders come back to me six weeks after I shipped them. Excuse me. And 80% of them were still alive, you know, but it happens so minimally, um, say less than 1% of our orders will get lost or die on the road. So I don't feel like replacing them orders is costing us much money at all, you know? Um, but again, you're not going to have that with most customers or with most shipping companies. So that's a bad spot. Uh, hey, 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 good morning, everybody. What, no, Bob? I'm talking to them, not you. I'm talking to them. <laughs> so, oh, back up, back up, back up. So, for six years of shipping, six, six winters of shipping uh, Dubia, I have always been a huge fan of USPS. 
Um, I think we did have a little bit of problems last year, probably right around the same time. But I have always, always, always been a big advocate for USPS when it comes to shipping live insects. Uh, they've been good to us. Of course, they do lose packages here and there, but I'm talking less than 1%, maybe 1% of 1% have they ever messed up. Up until today, you know, I've, I've always said that, and now I, I kind of feel like my life is a lie. Over the last, I'd say, two weeks, we have had to send out, I don't know, so far maybe six packages that were DOA, um, most of which should have got there all alive and well. Yeah, there's a few people that did not. Uh, get a heat pack or did not have them held at their local post office but there have even been like today I shipped out a pack and she had them held at her local post office for pickup and she received them all DOA all dead now the first four years of shipping we never even used heat packs okay because when you when you include a heat pack in an order the heat does not fill the package, okay? It's it's like surface heat. Anything, any part of the cup that's touching the heat mat or the heat pad, that's what's going to be warm. Unless you're doing like a styrofoam insulated box like how you ship live reptiles. But when it comes to the roaches, you know, unless they are placed on top of the heat pad, uh, you know... That, that heat isn't going to do much justice for them. Um, the uh, post office, and I've done a lot of research on this. I, you know, I looked this up a lot a few years back. Every facility they have, the planes, everywhere they go with the post office, they are in climate controlled uh, buildings and planes and all that. It's when they're being delivered to your house that they die. That last trip, you know, and I've talked about this already, but that's where they die is on the mail carrier's truck. Um, so when you get an order held at your local post office for pickup, those should all be alive. There, there's no reason they should be dead unless, you know, when they were unloading a truck at the post office, they may have left them outside on the dock for, for a little bit before bringing them inside and they die that way. But other than that, they should all be alive and well. Now, as of this morning, I have two packages. I mean, it was almost $300 just between these two packages. They were scanned at my local post office and never left. I mean, they left, they were never scanned out and they were never received. One of them should have been delivered on Monday and it's still showing they were accepted at our post office and they have not left, they haven't went any other place. So that's really unfortunate. Um, not only did we take everything off of eBay yesterday, but we actually took everything off our website today while we figure out what's going on, catch up on, on refunding these people or sending them new packages. Um, you know, we're probably not gonna be shipping for another week or two because this is just getting ridiculous. You know, I, I can't keep shipping bugs that are gonna die in transit because because uh, you know USPS isn't doing their their job right, uh, and that's very unfortunate for a lot of people that need the bugs, and that's you know it's unfortunate for us as a business because we can now only sell uh, the insects locally. Um, but yeah, shipping bugs is is no easy task, and you know like I said over the last six years we've only had to replace or refund very very minimal you know, less than 1% of our orders. Um, but, you know, unfortunately there are highs and lows and, and these things do happen. It's cold outside. Uh, I woke up this morning, it was like 10 degrees out. Um, you know, and, and when you have winter shipping, when it comes to live animals or live insects, it happens. Best part is, is, is when the customers actually understand that it's winter outside and they're in you know, Colorado or Maine or somewhere where it's extremely cold, they understand things happen and, you know, it's hard to ship live insects while it's this cold out. But of course, there are these customers that 
you know, they, they'll send us an email automatically being snotty, like, I should have received my package, you know, three days ago, and it's not showing that it even left your post office. What the hell's going on? I'm very disappointed in you. This is my first time ordering, and, you know, I'll never buy from you again. And it's like, how do people believe that I have any control over what the post office or what the delivery services do? You know, I, I get big packages coming and FedEx will come with a $600 box of live insects and drop it out of their hands right onto the ground. You know what I mean? And that makes me really upset because, you know, you pay a lot of money for them and you, you expect them to be treated right, not thrown to the ground. But that's them, you know. That's not the company I bought from. That's not their fault. When they when they get sent to me, and there's heat packs in there, and you know they're wrapped in, in double and triple boxes and wrapped really well, and some of the bugs die during transit. I know that's not the company's fault. They're not boxing up dead bugs to send to me. It's the fact that they're sitting on you know a FedEx truck or on the on the post office truck all day in the cold before they come to my house that's that's just the way it goes you know so i appreciate everybody that understands you know the delivery services are out of our hands uh you know we greatly appreciate your understanding on that and if you you know you know we're gonna look out for you you know we're gonna send you another order when that happens if you know if it's a fault of the post office just like the guy with the red runners i sent him his bugs even though it wasn't our fault, you know, I would never expect someone to send me money and not be able to use what they received from us. So, yeah, this, this video got a little goofy. Uh, I actually made the first part of the video three days ago. I wanted to get it finished up, but it's been a very long three days uh, dealing with all this, you know, shipping mess that we're into. And uh, if you want to buy bugs from our site right now, um, I apologize. We will get back to shipping as soon as we possibly can. But for now, we need to catch up on the orders that that uh, are still out there. And we got to take care of the orders that we might need to resend or refund. Uh, so I appreciate your understanding on that. Uh, if you're looking to uh, start shipping live insects, if that's something you're going to do, um, you know, this is just something you need to know. It's it's not always easy. Sometimes you got to send back a lot of money. Sometimes you're going to lose a lot of money by sending out new packages, and that's just the way it goes. Um, best thing you could do is is really learn how to package them good and uh, make sure they're very well insulated. And if you can help it, stay away from eBay because eBay is still absolutely terrible. And uh, you have absolutely no seller protection when using them whatsoever. And, you know, about 18 months ago, we stopped selling on eBay for over a year. And, you know, just maybe five months ago, I started using eBay again, just because uh, we had a lot of inventory. And, um, you know, our website, although we do make sales every day, for the most part, it, it's, uh, you know, we, we're still sitting on a lot of bulk and a lot of inventory. So I start selling on eBay again, just to get our name out there and to get us more customers through, through that site. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm done for good with, with eBay because they are just ridiculous. And, uh, you know, besides, besides the high fees that they take, they just, they don't offer you any protection at all when it comes to selling on their on their platform. So I'll probably be done with them for good. But anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, I will be back soon. You guys have a good one. Take care and stay warm.